So here we go once again, Gears 5 Act 2. There's a total of 106 components and 36 collectibles. As soon as we start Chapter 1 at Recruitment Drive, head down the stairs to the right inside this area here on the table next to the cash register, you will find your first flute. This will be Collectible 1. So Component 1, 2 and 3 directly behind you on the desk next to the apples or tomatoes. Once you get into the fish market or the main town square area, if you just head directly into the middle section, eventually you will find that there's a, a silver pipe. If you follow that up the stairs, take a right and you will should find the component number four located on the shelves to the right hand side. From the previous location, turn around, head down the stairs and go past or go through the medical building. And you will find this license plate located directly in front of the building, so next to the furnace. Now once we have grabbed this, you want to go right now, head up the stairs to the left. Now once you go right and go inside this small building here, head down the stairs, you should find your component number 5 of 18 for this chapter. Just like to point out, I do apologize if I stay too long on one collectible. I am waiting for my co-op partner to get it as well because he is recording the game as well. So I just don't want to mess him up. So once you see the town hall sign to the left and you'll see the massive bone sticking out of the floor. If you go behind that, on the snow at the back room or back area, you should find it right here. Component number six. Once you go inside, the door behind you will close. This will be the army to the left. Once you leave, you should hopefully see someone working on this area here. And eventually one of them will tell you to um, the shock one of them to deactivate it. But if you go to the building to the right, Hopefully you should see this one flickering in the background. Just make sure you pick it up on the way through. Collectible number four, wooden lancer toy. Making things simple, start from the last location. Behind this block here, just propped up against the, um, the concrete block. Make sure you pick up the wooden lancer. Collectible five, component seven. Just carry on down as normal, part of the game. Go into the salvage and trade store. You will find component number seven and you should find collectible number five located on the left side. And there we go. Collectible number six. Once you have found the strange looking horse, you go inside the building and on the locker to the left in the middle of this area here, you will find your number six. Have to go past this area, so hopefully you shouldn't miss it. As you leave the area, head down the stairs, take the first doorway to the left as you go down the stairs. Go inside to find component 8. Component number 9. Carry on further, or proceed on further than before. Head into the first building once again to the left as you leave the area. And on the shelf, in this building, you'll find number nine. As we carry on, you'll find collectible number seven located in the flower shop. Component number 10. As you leave the flower shop, head down the stairs, go towards the... I'm going to call it the meat lock. I'm not sure what it is. I'm assuming it is because all it's just meat in there. So as you go directly behind it, you should find this one just sitting here. Collectible number eight. Once again, as you proceed on with the story, you have to go this way anyway. Before we talk to our main guy, grab the collectible to the right.
after you've picked up this collectible, do the cutscene, and then you have to backtrack through the whole place where we just came from. Upon coming back, you will pick up a new shock ability. Before doing that, head into the back room to claim the component 11, 12, and 13. This door was originally closed or shut off, uh, so we can't get it until now. So on the way back through once again, once you leave outside and go back inside, if you go right and go inside the armory or the ammo shed, or whatever you want to call this place, and find the component 18 or 14, sorry. Collectible 9. As you go past the medical building, if you go left and left again, this should be the armory or the weapon place. No idea what it's called, but this, originally the door was closed once again, and now it's finally unlocked. Number 10, as you've done the last part, so you watch all the cutscenes and then you're here. Once you get here, look beside the red massive tool shed or whatever it's called to find the collectible. Right next to you, you find a component. This will be one. So one component, this should be your number 15 one. And the final set of components is 16, 17 and 18 in the same place. Just on the opposite end, climb the ladder and pick up your component that has three inside. Once you have done your first main objective of getting through the cog gate, if I remember right, and then on your way to the new hope objective, you should hopefully see this red outhouse building. If you just look on your mini map or your main map, because you're outside now, you can actually look at it and just follow the directions on the map. Yeah, before you go up the um, slope, you don't have to go up there. There's not really anything up there. Just pick up the component. So now if you go slightly down and right, so you can still see the red outhouse where we grabbed the last component. Next to the main door that we need to go through eventually, you will find a massive tire and lots of rubble everywhere. In amongst the next to the tire, you will find the component number two. Collectible 1 of 4. Where we found the last component, just go to the other set of rubble or trash on the floor and you'll find a dead person containing your first of four collectibles. Now on your way to the New Hope, you will find that there's a train track and a single train car or carriage. If you go inside here, you will find a dead person once again containing the next collectible. Very close by, you will find a little um, a secondary activity. So if you find this place located to the left or very close to where the train tracks is, it should show up on your map once you get close enough. Once you do it, you will find that there's a collectible number three and you will find a component number three as well. Collectible number four and component number four. As you're heading to the new hope objective now, right next to where the campfire is, you'll go right past it. So hopefully you guys can't miss it and just pick up the collectible and then you should find the component very close by. So that's pretty my end of chapter two. Now go towards your next objective and just carry on. So chapter three. Shit. Once we get inside this building in chapter three, definitely literally go into the doorway well, to the right is in rough shape. and this is where you'll be, be and you can find your collectible. Once you go outside, you will defeat a new type of enemy. Once you defeat that enemy, you have to go to the right inside this house here. Once you do that, head down the stairs here. If you don't shoot anything in here, uh, you won't get ambushed. So destroy the, um, the safe room with Jack and then grab your components. So once you carried on for a little while, eventually you will drop through the floor and this is where you'll be like in some sort of prison cell. 
Once you get into the area here where you see one of the prison cells covered in gas, so use Jack's ability, the stem ability, to get through this area safely and unharmed. From the last location, before going for the main double doors, if you use Jack once again to use the um, lock to destroy it, and then pick up the collectible number two. In the same room, you'll find your last set of components for this chapter days. Collectible three. In the last location, go inside to the next area. So this is like a morgue area or surgery area. And on one of the tables to the left, you will find it. Collectible number four from the last location. Once you proceed through the area and go into a kid's room, jump through the window and then you'll find your next collectible, hopefully staring you right in the face, just to the left. Number five. On your way through the area once again, there's not really much I can really say. Just there'll be a door to the right with a dead person. And then voila. The last collectible for this chapter. Eventually you will have to go down some stairs. Part of the story, you can't really miss it. Once you get down to this area, you will find that there's a quite well hidden collectible just to the right hand side as you're progressing through this area. Once again, you have to go through this area to get past and to finish the mission. So part of the story, just make sure you grab it along the way. You can't miss it. Oh, chapter four. How lovely this chapter is. So damn long. So as and when you get to this hangar area, you have to use the ladder to go up to the top here. Oh, you will get ambushed by locusts, so kill them. And inside the room that you're running towards, you will find component one, two, and three. Out of 50, damn four. Component four, five, and six. After you have defeated the locust ambush and all the other good stuff, the hangar door will open, or you have to unlock it. Either way, once you've done this, you will find that there's another component compartment here just to the right of the door as you leave. Collectible one of 10. So on your map, once you leave the cog area or the, the doorway, you will find a new area to the left hand side. If you look on the map, I'm showing you just pause the video. Once you get here, you will find the dead person and right next to him, you'll find a collectible. Then if you go to the right slightly, right next to where he is, you will find the component 7, 8, and 9. Just like to let you guys and girls know that you can grab these in any sort of order and not a specific order that you need to grab them in. Since you can pretty much free roam in this area. So once you get in this area, you have to fight a bunch load of locusts and you'll find one of the new type of enemies again. If you go to the left, part of your main objective, grab it here and you'll find your collectible so just let you know that is actually part of the secondary mission objective so very close to where you found a the collectible and your part for the secondary objective you will find that i think there's this is a plane crash well bits of it anyway once again i show it on the map so feel free to pause it to see where i was so I believe it's near or closer to the North Com Tower. But well, it's, it's closer to the um, second objective. So now if you go to the top of this map, in the middle, you will find that there's a component one, two, and three again, or three components, sorry, 11, 12, and 13. So this will be the conscript or the condor part where we can find one of our upgrades. So component 14, still in the same area, just defeat all the enemies in this area. Eventually this door will unlock. You can grab your ultimate upgrade there and then carry on. As you are leaving the area, the only way to leave is up here. If you keep going up before you actually drop down, I wasn't too sure where it was. But my friend found it. He was just showing me. So just before you jump down, grab the component. So 
So then, after that, once we drop down, still in the same area, so as soon as you drop down, go right, you should hopefully find this one located near the plane crash as well. In theory, I could have got this before we entered the main area, but I didn't see it. So now we're going to head towards the, I believe, East Com Tower. But before you get there, you can actually see a building that is like connected to the mountain side. So if you go inside, you will find a component 16 and you'll find a collectible 3 located on a dead stranded survivor that is frozen solid. Not really a survivor now, but he's dead. So now, nearby, um, there will be like a bridge area that you need to go over anyway. But before we do that, if you go right past the bridge, tucked away in this corner here, you will find one of the old Gears vehicles in, I believe, Gears 3. I think Gears 3. But you can use this. I think it's Gears 3 anyway. Yeah, pick up the collectible. On your way to the mines, part of the main mission, you will find a... I'm going to call it a gasoline or like an oil tank. Right next to that big wheel, you will find this component there hidden. Once you have grabbed that last component, go inside the gate and head towards the mines. Once you get in this area, there will be no map available to you, so I can't show you where I am. When going down the slope, you can't go left and follow the train tracks because it's blocked. If you go right and find the component inside this train carriage. <laughs> Woo! Dirty bitch. Once you are carried on for quite some time, you will have to go into the ice river. And once you have dealt with all the locusts there, head up the elevator and then you'll be back across the other side of the bridge. Before going inside, climb the tower to find your collectible number five. Once you go inside, the door behind you will close. As soon as you go inside, go right, you will find a poster located on the far right wall, just as you enter the doorway. In the same room, you will find a, a safe that you have to use Jack to use the um, electric ability to destroy the code or destroy the, the lock. So from the last location, Kill any locusts you see in this area. You'll find this big massive drill. Upon entering to the next area, fight all the locusts here too. And if you stay to the left, go inside this doorway here, you will find your next collectible and your That's components. There's nothing human left. Keep looking around. As you leave the area, you go back into the open world. If you head directly straight, you should run into this oil tank. You may really see it beforehand, but um, me and uh, my friend did not see this until now, after leaving. So now, if you go near enough, kind of um, in the middle of the map now, you will find this next condor area. Once you've defeated all the swarm and go towards your next component. So if you go inside the crashed plane, grab the component here. And then if you go to the right hand side from where you started up here to find your next components. And then also right next to you in the left side in the safe, you will find another ultimate power for Jack. Now heading towards the North Com Tower. As you leave and head towards the tower, 
you will find a relic boom shop to the right. If you go towards the keypad, this is where you'll find the next collectible. As soon as you interact with this keypad, you will get the collectible because it's literally stuck on the keypad. Before going into the doorway, if you go left, you'll find another set of components inside this cabinet here. Then once you've done that, now head inside the building. We're gonna find that pod. Now if you stay to the left, before entering the single door, you will find a component number 37. This should be a single component. Once you leave the building and carry on with your mission towards the North Com Tower, you will find another down plane. So once again, use Jack's ability to destroy the lock to open this door. There we go. I guess that's it. Come on, just clear out of here. Now, shortly after going down and a bit further on, you will find another one of these. Oh, what the, I, can't, I can never remember what they're called now. You'll find another one of them new enemies that I've talked about previously. I can't remember. Is it the Wraith? I, I really can't remember what his name is now. Off the top of my head. I know when I stop doing recording, I'll know what it is. But at the moment, at the time, I have no idea. So once you have dealt with all the locusts and the new enemy type, you will find a, once again, a safe room or a safe. Use Jack to gain the components. Now, before actually entering How the comm tower... <laughs> Well, now we're going to enter. Sorry, before we enter, we've got to get them components. But now enter the compound. This one, if you go to the door to the left, head inside and once again, check in the cabinet. And ta-da! Now we're going to go back this area here because me and my friend did not see this until after we finished the north com tower we, we was heading towards the east and we saw this so this is near the north com tower on your way through you will find a dead person with a collect wall next, right next to him all right once you get to this next area you'll find there's some locusts and you'll find some of them liquor things alien looking things once you climb the ladder, you will find that there's a collectible here. Once again, this is part of one of the secondary missions, I do believe. Once you find another part. So now the last set of components here. If you're playing as Jack, you cannot break through this. You have to use one of the, the cog members to help you. Because since Jack can't shoot, he can't destroy the glacier. Let's block it with a massive ice spike that's in the way. So as we enter the East Com Tower, we have to go downstairs. And here at the right, you will find your component 48. And now the very, very, very last set of components coming up very shortly. As soon as you go into the next section, literally the next area, look on top of the, um, the cabinets, you will find component 49. And now the last five to finish up this chapter. So from the last location, turn around, go through the door, head down the stairs. You will should see another one of them cabinets just to the left before carrying on. All you guys need to do now is just finish the mission and I'll see you in chapter five. So here we go. Moving on up, moving on up. Come on. Ow. Let's go find that ladder. Moving on up, moving on up. Chapter five. So as we are looking at the main door of all the turrets and stuff, if you pretty much just do a 180, head back this way. You will find that there's a collectible. Property executed. The hell are we walking into here? So just remember, once you are looking at the main gate that has turrets everywhere, or well not everywhere, but there should be two turrets in front of you, two turrets to the left. So now, as we are going back now, 
you will see the turrets in front. So there's a main gate in front of you, two turrets to the right, and there's two turrets to the left. Use your cloak ability to go left, and then you should find your component one to five. Eventually, we'll enter this person, or this person, sorry, this part here. Well, I think it's like, I can't remember what it's called now. But anyway, you can't go inside the um, the misted cloud area because you'll die. So if you just carry on to the left, you should hopefully see this one. It's not really hard or not really hidden because you go right past it. Once you have figured out a way to get rid of the um, the mist down below. Now, once you enter the mist area down below, go right, head up this hallway here, and then go through this building. Over here, once you get you in here, you will find the next set of components, and then you'll find another collectible. What? What? In the butt butt. So as we carry on once again, can't really miss it once again because you literally have to go past here. If you look to the right before carry on to the left and grab the component. The next collectible is after you watch a cutscene. It's quite a lengthy cutscene. As soon as the cutscene finishes, look directly down to find your collectible number three. Now, as we're proceeding through to the next section, uh, there will be another room here that's all misted up. So use your stem ability or tell Jack to use the stem. Grab your component and go through the next doorway. Once we go through the next doorway, literally right next to the generator here, there will be a collectible number four. Component number 16. Once we're after that little robot thing, I can't remember his name, nor do I care for his name at the moment, because we need to kill his ass. So use your cock partners to um, destroy any objects in the way because Jack can't do it. In the room that you have to go through, you will find a component number 16, and in the same exact room, you will find a collectible number 5. Just located to the right. If you're looking at the component, of course. Now, once we have grabbed that and the component, leave the door behind you before going down the slope. Do not go down the slope because you can't come back up. And grab the collectible number six. And that is pretty much it for the collectibles for the whole of Act 2. And now we're going to go down the slope. And eventually, there will be a path going right. And then you should see... A path that you have to send Jack over so you can't do it yourself. So make sure you send Jack over to grab the last five components. That is it. See you guys and girls in Act 3.